This bedroom belongs to Hunter, who recently moved back into his childhood home. This room has been left pretty much unchanged since he moved out roughly 16 years ago, and as Hunter now finds himself back here during his mid-twenties after getting out of a long-term relationship, he now finds himself in a place that's in desperate need of a functional, aesthetic and affordable refresh. I also lived at my mum's place for a large portion of my 20s, so I can definitely relate to Hunter's situation. And when your bedroom is the only space that you can call your own, living with parents or housemates for that matter definitely comes with challenges. Hunter's room is just over 160 square feet, which is a number very similar to what you might find in the living area of a studio apartment. And despite this space being just a bedroom, it does still need to function as a living area and a workspace. So Hunter will be using this room to work, relax and sleep in. So creating a space that he truly enjoys being in is absolutely crucial, not only for his own well-being, but also for maintaining healthy relationships with the other members of his household. Hunter's room is located upstairs on the second floor and you can see that it has one single window and a decently sized closet with sliding timber doors. And the only restrictions that I had were that the carpet, mattress and timber all have to stay. So as the main goal is to maximize the space in this room to work in, my first move was to remove everything to give me a completely blank canvas to work from. However, as removing furniture loses a lot of the existing storage space, I decided to recoup this by using furniture underneath the mattress by implementing a familiar IKEA hack that uses two affordable mom dresses for the bed frame. You may recall that I used this hack in my own UK studio apartment, as it provides a whopping 12 drawers of storage. However, instead of DIYing a super strong timber frame, you can actually adapt this hack to utilize an IKEA Kallax unit on the long side closest to the wall, along with an IKEA slatted twin bed base to suspend a queen-sized mattress above the storage space that's in the middle. A small movable step stool makes the bed easy to get up and down from, and the concealed storage space is perfect for hiding infrequently used items like suitcases and seasonal gear underneath the mattress. However, the main reason that this is so perfect for this space is because it obscures the sleeping surface by placing it higher up, which disguises its identity as a bed in a work and living area and creates some crucial friction against tempting and otherwise unplanned naps. Moving over to the work area, rather than leaving a desk to awkwardly float alone in a corner, I decided to make it span along the entire length of the far wall by using two 1600 by 800 mm IKEA desktops fixed to a combination of Alex drawers and a Ket cabinets, which utilize several Adil's legs to account for the additional depth of the desktops. This provides Hunter with absolutely acres of room as an avid gamer and tech enthusiast, but as he mentioned that he's already considering downsizing his three monitor setup to two, I decided a white dual monitor stand would better fit the room and provide a less cluttered look against the white walls. And in keeping with a super clean and minimal aesthetic, his gaming PC could be hidden at the rear of the Aket units on a small dolly, which not only helps keep it ventilated off the carpet, but it also ensures that it remains easily accessible. I then finished off the setup by adding in some peripherals and a desk mat, which helps ground them all together, as well as a white Venetian blind in place of the old curtains, which provides better modulation and diffusion of the natural daylight when working. And now, all of the additional workspace over on the second desk can truly take this room to another level, as this previously sub-optimal space can now be used for true downtime. So think for things like eating, reading, or Hunter's hobby of modifying tech, resulting in this entire wall being visually demarcated as a super clean and cohesive activity area that's completely visually distinct from the sleeping area. 
As this workspace is also a lot deeper than most, underneath there's still space for his old beverage cooler, and the Aket cabinets below would be perfect for storing things like mugs, utensils, and dry goods, meaning that actually, this space can function much like a real office with a proper tea station, as you could also easily include a kettle and even a microwave and water cooler, which would then provide Hunter with even more much needed independence from the rest of his household. As this space also needs to function as somewhere for Hunter to unwind, and there's now no place for his old and chunky TV, I decided to add in a big remote controlled projector screen above the window. So at the click of a button, there's a super large surface that can be projected onto. And if needed, it makes the Venetian blind completely redundant if it doesn't fit within the budget. Finally, a floating shelf above the bed on the far wall can house a projector that's hooked up to a streaming stick, which turns this room into a truly great space for watching movies or shows. And then to help visually tie the desks to the rest of the room, I put down a large flat woven rug that also helps to delineate the work area from the sleeping area. And as a final touch, I painted a gray feature datum around the room that aligns with the head of the door frames, helping to add character and anchor the dark timber to the stark white walls. After rendering the model using SketchUp's V-Ray plugin, I did some final adjustments in Photoshop, and the images illustrate just how much of a difference a few affordable furniture choices can make. Just because you may temporarily live in a house share or work out of your bedroom, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't take your own space seriously and take some pride in it, as these spaces have a major influence over our well-being and quality of life, simply because we spend so much time in them. And if neglected, I believe that in some cases, it can even unnecessarily contribute towards damage to both our relationships and mental health. In case you found yourself wanting more insight into my design process after watching this video, you can actually watch the full-length screen recordings for free over on Nebula through a super affordable bundle subscription to CuriosityStream, who are kindly sponsoring this video. In case you don't know, Nebula is an ad and algorithm free video platform, which allows me and other creators that you might know to post this more in-depth style of content without worrying about analytics and algorithms affecting a video's performance. And it allows you guys to intentionally watch our usual and bonus content ad free. So the Nebula versions of my videos have ad reads like this one removed entirely. A subscription to CuriosityStream bundles in a Nebula subscription for free, so you also get access to the world's leading documentary streaming platform and all of this bonus content on Nebula at a 26% discount using the link in my description, which works out to be like $1.26 a month. And subscribing to CuriosityStream is a great decision in itself as it has thousands of titles across almost every topic that you can think of, where I enjoy seeing design related shows such as Engineering the Future and The History of Home. If you'd like to support me and the channel, signing up is just another great way to do so, as is dropping a like and leaving a comment on this video. So make sure to let me know what you guys thought of this week's redesign down in the comment section. And also make sure that you have notifications turned on as I'll soon be revealing the exciting changes that have been happening with our new apartment and this space that you can see here behind me. I really do appreciate you guys as none of this would be possible without you and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.